just going to add some buttons that we can use um, to actually edit those properties. So if I open the widget gallery and go to buttons, I can pick a couple buttons. Uh, the ones I pick don't really matter because they all do the same thing. I'll just grab a couple here. And what I'm going to do with these buttons is show uh, a couple different types of buttons that we can create and um, use, them, use these buttons to change the properties of some of our widgets. So if I click on the first one, I can see that we also have the value tag here, just like I did for numeric field, and I can link a tag to it. Um, buttons are really looking for Boolean tags since they only have two states, so I'm going to pick a Boolean tag. And I'm going to select a click type. Um, this allows us to decide whether the button should retain its value while it's pressed and held or retain its value until it's pressed again. So I've selected momentary for the first one. And for my second button here, I'm going to pick a different tag and set it to maintain. So what this means is that a momentary button will allow me to press a button. And as soon as I let go, the value will um, return to zero. So while it's pressed and while I'm holding it down, it will be in the pressed in state and the tag value will be a one. As soon as I let go, it will return to zero. A maintain button is a little bit different. Whenever I press the button, it will become pressed in. Uh, the value will change to a one and I can let go and it will stay pressed in and it will stay as a one and it will not turn back into a zero until I press it again. So if I add a couple numeric fields just to um, show my tag values and simulate, we'll see that my first button is my momentary button. So it, it flips to one, but as soon as I let go, it goes back to zero. And my second button is maintained. So I can press it and let go and then press it again, and it will go back to a zero. So, so far I've only edited the value field, but now I'm going to edit a couple other fields um, just to demonstrate all of the things that we can change using tags. So if I click on my button, I see a couple fields down is fill color, and it does have a plus sign, which means this is a property that we can edit using a tag. So if I click the plus sign, it's going to prompt me to um, select a tag, which I would like to be the same tag that I have as my value, although it wouldn't necessarily have to be the same. And I need to actually set up um, the colors. So I can set up a color that will um, be shown whenever the value is zero by clicking the plus sign, adding my first color, which I'd like to be red. So I have tag value zero, color red, and I can click the plus sign to add another color. So for value one, the color will be green. And I can click OK. And um, you can see I have tag one as my data link um, with the colors that I selected. My button here is still gray, and I can change the color that's showing in JMobile Studio if I want to. However, um, you'll never actually see this yellow during runtime unless the value of tag one is null. And the value of tag one should never be null um, because it's a Boolean, so it should always be zero or one. The only time it would really be null is if you have a communication error. So whenever I simulate this, we'll see that my button is gonna be red or green, but never yellow because tag one cannot be null. So I'm just able to flip between red and green here. It is possible to change colors of pretty much any widget, including my numeric field here. So I'm going to change the font. Um, under text, I have font color. I can click the plus sign and um, do basically the same exact thing. Select tag one and select my color. Um, you can see that after I've done this before, the colors are gonna be saved. So you can just go back and pick color that you've used already and click OK. 
and that will change the font here. So the text is going to change to red or green, but it's also possible to change the background color if I add a frame. So if I find frame here and set frame to true, I can change the fill color of that frame um, to be something else. So go with blue and uh, yellow and select the same tag. So whenever I press this button, now you'll see that also my numeric field is, is going to change colors as well. So not only can we change the colors, but if we scroll down, we see that, that there's a lot more properties here that we can play with, uh, like opacity, visibility, disable, enable. We can make it blink by setting this to true. Um, so I'm just going to make it so that when we press the circle button, um, this value becomes visible. When we're not pressing it, it's invisible. So I can do that with the visibility field here. Um, visibility is currently set to true, which makes it visible. However, if I link tag 2 to it, then whenever tag 2 is false, um, which happens to be the default, this numeric field will be invisible. Whenever tag 2 is true, which will happen when I press the button, we will be able to see it. So I'll show that real quick. And um, a lot of the other properties are doing almost the exact same thing. Some of them, like opacity, are looking for a number, in which case we would just link a, a, a short or an integer tag to it instead. Um, but mostly that shows how we would use these properties.